Friday, March 26th. We're getting started with the 15th Wright State Raid. I just started up on stream. Brackets looking pretty good. I think I'm just going to ping everyone now as I think we are ready to go. Let's do it. Who's going to be our first person on stream today? Let's go ahead and do King Polion and Corn. Let's do those guys. <sighs> I'll build an arena real fast. What's the room music for today? What am I feeling? Oh, I know what I'm feeling. Mr. Nichols is weak. He signed up and he's the first seed, so I can give him a little bit of a Ganon appreciation. Let's see. Four. And that's two. One, two, three, six, nine. Excellent. F Eleven people out today. It's a pretty decent bracket. Mr. Nichols, Paper Links, J Birdie. Of course, Paper Links and J Birdie are always here. Corrupt is a face we don't get to see a lot. Gus Meister is pretty good. I like when he comes out. Picks, Nocton, King Polion, Corn. Corn is actually a newcomer from last week. I seated him really low. Uh, turns out he's pretty decent, so I put him a little bit higher. A small battlefield, Pokemon Trainer and Piranha Plant. Alright, let's get this first match started with one winged angel. The classic. So I like this Pokemon Trainer skin. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the Pokemon that are in it, but I do like the Diamond Pearl Trainer. He looks pretty good. So I think a very interesting problem that uh, Piranha Plant has here is how do you hit the tiny little Squirtle? Piranha Plant doesn't have the big hitboxes that other heavies do. Uh, he's got hitboxes pretty similar to a Sortie. Makes it decently difficult to hit Squirtle. Ivysaur will be a lot easier, though. Ooh, good, very good hop. Beat him out. King Polion is playing around Corn's shield very well with his Ivysaur. Still gets hit by a couple. Uh, he lives there, right? Yeah, alright, cool. The Ivysaur is just a lot safer than the Squirtle is. Seems to work. Oh, that's bummer. Got his ass. And he's gone. That was a really bad. I don't know if he just got stuck to the platform or something, but... Oh, no, that Charizard looks good. That's a good-looking Charizard. No wonder I like this skin. He didn't armor through it? Huh. There we go, Squirtle. Get off that platform, and then just get in his face.
both of them kind of, I mean, not just both, no, I meant both of them, like both Squirtle and Ivysaur, doing a pretty decent job of playing around the, 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 the shield of corn. Uh, they're just really patient with both Squirtle and Ivysaur. Corn's doing a good job of getting those few hitboxes that Piranha Plant has out there and being just as tricky to hit as the Squirtle, I think. Squirtle is just not getting many follow-ups off of him at all. King Polion is very... Oh, wow, that killed. I don't think King Polion was expecting that to kill either. He was setting up for an edge guard. Ooh, hit his shield. Not going to kill just yet. It would if he was on the platform, but yeah, now it's Charizard time. Now he doesn't die. So someone told me that apparently Charizard Flame Breath is, like, really bad. Which just kind of makes me sad. I like Flame Breath. I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite move in Bowser's kit. And the fact that Charizard has it and it's bad is just kind of sad to me. Oh, names are missing. They sure are, buddy. They sure are. King Polion. Excellent. Thank you very much, Paper. I would have stayed Squirtle for a while. I don't think Ivysaur does anything here in this matchup, at least right now, other than get hit and take damage. Either stuck with Charizard or go to Squirtle until he had to go straight over to Charizard. Yeah, Flame Breath. That's such a cool move. Ooh, good spot dodge. But then Corn mashes, grab twice, and <laughs> whiffs both of them. That was the exact same exchange as last time. Look, bro, if the Piranha Plant wants to camp you out, I'd say let him. That, that would have been cool, but I don't think that hits below ledge. Break shield. Or just dash attack him, yeah, that works. He did it again, he did the spot dodge. Does this kill? Yeah, Charizard F throw, very nice. Game one goes to King Polion. We did it, Charizard. Nice work, Charizard. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> Looks like everyone else is getting their matches started too. A couple minutes late, but uh, everyone seems to be on track now as we run it back to small battlefield. Get jungle level this time. Get some Donkey Kong music. No more Sephiroth. Well, that grabbed? Is Squirtle grab range good or like, am I missing something? Classic Mare out of shield. Honestly, if your character doesn't have a good Nair out of shield, you're probably not playing a good character. Just saying. <laughs> I love Squirtle's pummel. He just does the head bash. Here, zone him out. Play patient. That's all what Gus Meister seems to I mean, King Polion seems to be doing pretty good at. Now he pulls out the Charizard. Yeah, I don't think Ivysaur does a whole lot in this matchup. He gets hit super easily. Like, Ivysaur used to be the best. Pokemon that PT had. Nowadays, I'm not so sure. After those nerfs, he just feels really easy to hit. Um, not super good at killing unless you do something dumb off stage. Squirtle and Charizard feel really good. Squirtle more than Charizard. Charizard is just that, uh, you know, the pocket Bowser that you pull out when you really just want to kill someone and not die. 
but a real Squirtle should be the one doing the damage, and uh, Ivysaur doesn't seem to be doing much other than getting hit nowadays. Maybe it's just King Polion. He's basically the only Pokemon trainer I get to watch on a semi-regular basis. I don't know, dog. Oh, wow. He fell out of it. Shoutouts to Charizard being heavy. Back throw? That's not going to kill. It's not a kill throw. I like that. I like that mix-up a lot. I liked that a lot. Are these going to keep rolling behind each other? <laughs> Up smash out of shield isn't going to take it, even with rage. Kind of shocking. Every once in a while you remember that Piranha Plant is actually a heavy. Up throw probably kills now. Oh, he let him go. Not quite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Offstage shenanigans. Kick him in the head. Kind of crazy that Charizard inherited Donkey Kong dash attack and Donkey Kong just got a way better dash attack. Who's going to kill the other person? Alright, the armor pays, pays it off. Get out of there! Takes 20 off a stupid cloud. The dumb character. I say as I give people 30% by full hop neutral being them. Ivysaur is not the play. Oh wow, that reached. That didn't kill. Ooh, I wonder if down air would have. Gentlemen, doesn't get jabbed. What kill throws does Ivysaur have? Down throw? Alright. Oh god, great job going Charizard there, or else I think he kind of would have got rocked. Good job holding shield, <laughs> he just keeps holding shield. Ooh, shield's getting a bit low though. Good job going low, yeah. Oh no, he fast fell in. <laughs> Bye. We did it, Charizard. Good job, Charizard. Oh god, I can hear Guy Fieri coming from the other room. My dad must have turned on Diner Drives and Dives. Ooh, Toasted Art isn't here, which means we aren't going to see any DDD today. The only DDD I have is Diners, Drivers, and Dives. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Alright, so King Polion goes over Corn 2-0. Nocton and Just Joe are playing. Hmm. Are Corrupt and Gustmeister playing? Otherwise, I'd want to watch them. Oh, Pix 1-2-0. Good for him. Let's do Pix J Birdie. That sounds fun. Picks Jay Birdie. The only reason I'm not doing Mr. Nichols King Polion right now is because I really want to do Mr. Nichols against either Corrupt or Gustmeister. I really want to watch that one. So, Jay Birdie Picks just kind of landed up nicely since Picks got his match done so quick. 
All right, let's update that layout. Get Jaybirdie. Jaybirdie versus Hicks. Excellent. All right, let's get started. I just get scared every single time water pushes someone off stage. I just react viscerally. It's like a primal fear. You're off stage and there's a hydrant coming down at you or the hydrant pushed you off. It's just scary. Good call out. Good call out on the double jump. I'm sorry, did Boomerang take out that entire 13%? Wow. Oop. Key to victory. He's got the key to victory. Oh! That grabbed him What? Okay, okay. So, so I actually got to see Jay Birdie recently. We played for a little bit uh, offline. And I gotta say, Pac-Man moves... Aerials especially are just so much easier to tech offline. Oh, it's like, guys, listen, there's hope. Fighting Pac-Man becomes so much better offline. I promise. I know we've all forgotten what it's like to, you know, play Sonics or Little Max or Pac-Man offline. But, what? Where do you go? But don't give up. It gets better. I promise it gets better. Oh, please don't die. Thank you. Yeah, Pac-Man's a lot. So much better when you actually get to react to his stupid stuff. Oh my god. Life's just better when Pac-Man don't have hours and hours of delay on their side. Shoutouts to water not working correctly. <laughs> Drive by shooting. Bell. There at a shield. He's playing a good character because you know he has a good one. Pac-Man also has a good Nair at a shield, which means he's also a good character. I'm sorry. What what it, what did Boomerang collide with? Was it the bell or the grab? Because it looked like the grab. Ah, uh, he fell into it. Brutal. Let's go, Pix. Let's go, Pix. Young Link. Young Link Pog. Oh, he hit the apple. Doesn't get hit by the back air. Combos. Yeah, okay. Good fast fall. That was a beautiful fast fall, actually. Playing incredibly well with the projectiles. You see, as soon as a Pac-Man is behind, as soon as he starts having to run at you, life is just so much easier. Trust me, it gets better. There is hope on the horizon. Good there. Cool. Pex K takes game one. Very solid two stock too. That was just really good play from Pix. Like, I want to be straight. That was just really good from Pix. He looked good. He was doing well. Gustmeister 2-0 over Corrupt. Excellent. And what is... Yep, looks like King Polion and MRN are playing right now. Excellent. Pick says, no Kalos, no Battlefield, no Yoshis.
get rid of triplats and big old callos. How's not than just JoJo? Looks like they're on game two. Yeah, they're on game two. Cool. They're probably about to finish up game two, though. Ah, oh, nope, never mind. They started it a minute ago. Where are these two people going? FD! Excellent. He's we're playing the Pac-Man music. This is Jay Birdie's favorite whenever he's on FD. The Pac-Man music is, is a big favorite of his. I wonder how Youngling Shield does against... Oh my god, what am I watching? I'm watching Pix schmoove on this Pac-Man is what I'm watching. Pix is playing very well. Very well. Very, very well. He's got the key to victory. Key to victory. Ooh. Almost. Yeah, I was trying to say, I wonder. Oh my gosh. Bear one into up smash. I hate when I get hit by that because it's very easy to hit Bowser with that, but pretty hard to hit Pac Man with that since he's never on the ground. Yeah, I wonder if uh, if Youngling Shield does does well against Fruits. Not something to experiment with in a bracket set, but I'm sure it's, you know Pix has to know something about it. Yeah, he's listening. <laughs> Shoutouts to the key of victory being completely useless. The fact that Pix has like an instant recovery move and that he doesn't have to travel through the air at all, that's the big thing about Hydrant. It hits people who have to travel. Pix literally just gets to teleport to ledge. Which, you know, Hydrant can't really affect him like that. got a bell. It's over. He's dead. This goes high. Oh, wow. Oh, yep. He tried to throw Hydra, but the Hydra didn't come out fast enough. All he did was fling himself into the, into the, uh, fair. Really? He threw like three arrows and none of them stopped the J Birdie approach. Hit him. Yeah. God, that's 32%. Are you kidding me? That's silly. That's silly. Pex is like, nah, dude. You want to stay over there? I'm. That's fine with me. You want to stay behind the whole stock? I'm cool. I got four and a half minutes. I'm afraid of no she can hit water shenanigans. Hit my shield. Coward. That still hit! Uh oh. He just refuses. He's not afraid. Ooh, melon. Really good job from Jay Birdie there, just sitting in shield. Like, he was not afraid of that pressure at all. He just kind of dealt with it. Didn't worry about it. 
Really safe job there from Jaybird. He lives? Alright. Nope. Oh! I'm, I'm sorry? That was his foot. Pix takes it 2-0. All right, let's go ahead and check on Mr. Nichols. Uh, I think Nocton and Just Joe just finished up. Mr. Nichols banned FD, Kalos, and Yoshi's, and we're going to town, and that was a minute ago. Yep, Nocton over 2-0, Just Joe. Knocked in 2-0 over Just Joe. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put Gusmeister. Uh, and of uh, Mr. Nichols. And King Polyon. Four and M. That's two, two, three, six, nine. Excellent. Paper Link's knocked it. Oh, Nocton just gets to fight two Captain Falcons in a row. That sounds fun. Let's check on Loser's Bracket. Uh, Jay Birdie and Corn. So Jay Birdie's just going, just going to make a hell of a losers run I can see corrupt doing really well in losers yeah corrupt and jaybird are both gonna go pretty far Mr. Nichols just said GG's, which means he probably just won 2-0. MRN is typing. Come on, give me the confirmation. Yeah, MRN 2-0. Excellent. Paper Links and Nocton is underway. Mr. Nichols and Gusmeister. I know Krupp and Just Joe are on it. Jay Birdie Corn. It looks like we have everybody playing except for Pix. Pix just gets to wait. But what is this Falcon Gauntlet? Yeah, Nocton noticed it too. He's just got a whole bunch of Falcons. <laughs> Burning and Corn is underway. Laseki King Polion is underway.
Everything's looking good. Everything's on the way. Corrupt just Joe. PS2. Vominous. Get to watch some Ganondorf. Wario? I don't know. Ghostmeister sounds like the name of a Wario. Like, whenever I hear German names, I think Wario. I can't really explain it. Maybe I'm racist. Who knows? We'll definitely see, though, if he's playing Wario or not. Yeah, he's playing Wario! <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem, Intent. The only thing better than commentary is commentary with other people. And since Adam has high-key abandoned me to play Persona 3, uh, I'm... Look, I get it. Anyways, uh... Wario? Ganon? Uh, Wario should just dumpster Ganon, right? Like, that's, that's what I'm feeling? But, you know, Mr. Nichols kind of a god? Kind of a god? Yeah, this is the... Yeah, no, this is not a dumpstering. Oh, no. Yeah, I've heard P3 is good. I played P4 first when it came out on stream. And I'm Steam, not stream, Steam. And then I played Persona 5 when we got this PS5. And I'm in the middle of playing Strikers. And eventually, when I'm done with Strikers, I'll find a PS2 emulator and uh, grab me, grab me some uh, Moon, a Moon Coon. Oh my God. Anyways, yeah, no Wario just kind of gets a lot of shield pressure on on Ganondorf that Ganondorf can't really answer. So Mr. Nichols just chooses not to answer. It. And what he does is he dumpsters the options that are safe. He seems to be doing a really good job of that. No, his up B is catching Wario a lot. I don't know if Gusmeister is just holding shield or if he's jumping a lot. Why is he dead? Why is he dead? Oh no, it's fart time. Can Mr. Nichols bring it back with his bottom tier? I'd say yes, granted, given everything I've ever seen, ever. That up beyond a shield is really good. Oh, gee, I don't know what you're doing back here, but I'm going to pet your stinky butt. Ooh, that was a nice pivot grab, but the Nair looks like it came out first and they just collided. Oh, no. So I keep thinking Wario's just going to kill him, but like, I forgot that Wario just high-key can't kill people anymore. That was really cool. That was really cool. I really liked what both of them were doing there offstage. Oh no. He lives. He catches an air... No! <laughs> he got Kirby down aired. But by Wario. Yes. Gusmeister takes game one. Dog, I don't know what you're doing back here, but you're getting yourself all wadded up in my cords. Gusmeister says no FD, no Battlefield, no Smashville. I'm thinking MRN's going to say Lilac. I'm thinking he's going. Nope, he's running the back. He's running the back. He's running the back. I know Tyler really likes Lilat, so. I guess he likes PS2 better right now. Let's go, Lord Keeper Zinnia. Yeah, Mr. Nichols absolutely has this. He just kind of got, you know, gimped there a couple times. God. Please, every single time you go off stage, 
I can literally feel my diaphragm spasm. There's just a lot of adrenaline there that I don't know how to answer. Break a shield! Break a shield! Like skin. Yeah, Warren. I think this this seems to be all about trades for Ganondorf. He keeps taking damage. He keeps taking these little hits. But that's the thing about Wario. All Wario has are little hits. If you're able to keep trading with Ganondorf's big hits, you're definitely going to come out on top. Oh, wow. That really killed him at 86? Are you kidding me? That ledge pressure was insane, but I do not agree with that. I feel like he absolutely should have lived away. <laughs> you love to see it. GG. Give him the GG hand. Mr. Nichols takes game two in the span of like one minute and 15 seconds. And we're just on game three. <laughs> it's that simple. We're running it back. Let's go, Nichols. Nichols kind of has the exact same... It's it's kind of similar. How when you play Jay Birdie and you lose your mental stamina after game one and then he takes game two and three. Mr. Nichols, it's similar, but not. Uh, because you don't lose mental stamina fighting Ganondorf. He just figures out how to beat you and then you never beat him ever again. Anyone can take game one off of Mr. Nichols. That, that's just true. Anyone can take game one. You will never get game two. And if you get game three, it's because you really, really changed up what you were doing. And you kind of earned that win. But it's just incredibly hard to beat Mr. Nichols game two or game three. He just, he just gets too good. He learns what to do against you, and then he just does it. And he's kind of stupid good at it. Come here, grab. Oh, I don't think that was meant to be. That was a bummer. Yeah, coaching, this is my coaching advice for when you're playing against Mr. Nichols. Don't win game one. If you, oh my god. Yeah, don't don't even win game one. Just go out like a man. Take your 2-0 and say thank you, Mr. Nichols. Thank you for playing with me. Yeah, jab one. Too bad it doesn't do anything. I meant uh, nair one. Disintegrated. Honestly, this is an even game. Wario has no waft. Mr. Nichols is a god. God. It's still even. You can't convince me that it's not even. Maybe it's not even. Get him. Get him. No. Farted on him. No, it's over. No. No. Denial is a stage of grief. I'm about to hit anger. You just beat Mr. Nichols. I'm literally grieving. No. <laughs> Jaybirdie 2 0, King Polyon 2 0.
what is it? Denial, anger, depression, and then bargaining. I'll probably get to bargaining when we hit winner's finals. Let's see. Corrupt and Just Joe are still playing. Uh, how's picks? Paper length's knocked him. I'm, I'm actually grieving. That was hard to watch. Look, man, I was told that Ghostmeister was good. But, like, come on. Jay Brody and, 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 and Paper Lanks are good, too. And so is Mr. Nichols. Like, I don't know. I think Paper's right. If Mr. Nichols didn't SD twice game one, he absolutely would have had it. Ugh. Mom's is playing Animal Crossing. I'm actually in pain. Oh, hello, kitty cat. You you heard I was in pain and decided to come say hi. Oh, goodness. You really are hairy. Youngling. Oh, my goodness. You are a hairy kitty. Hello. You want to get cozy? What are you doing? You going to sit on me or what? Three. Oh god, I only have one hand. Alright, now I have two hands. You can't combo me. Too good. Stay out of the air. What? Out of here. No, I took lots of damage. I pet the cat. She's hairy. Hello, hairy cat. No, I'm dead. in and took the damage. No. Wow, that really worked? No, I live. I died. Go say hi to mama, kitty cat. Die, you little gremlin. I'm mad that that worked. Get me out of here.
He. All right, cool. Knocked in 2 1 over paper. Um, and then just Joe 2 1. What? Knocked in 2 1 over paper? Okay, good job, Knockton. Good for you, buddy. Just Joe 2 1. Oh my god, Corrupt is washed. Alright, Knockton picks. Cat is gone, and my mom is mad at John Stafford. Man, loser's bracket looking kind of bad. What is happening? Why is every single top seed getting upset? I hate this. The only people left in winners are 5, 6, and 7. <laughs> what? Yeah, dog. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Paper Lynx is not supposed to lose to Nocton. Jay Birdie isn't supposed to lose to Pigs. <laughs> Corrupt isn't supposed to lose to Judge Joe. Like, why is Corrupt going 0-2? I'm going to ping him and tell him that he's washed. At Corrupt, you're washed. Where is his name? Where is he? Oh my god, where is he? <laughs> Best. You're washed. Alright, got his ass. Look, last week in the in the week before that, my seating was literally immaculate. Alright? My seating my seating is usually pretty good. I'm not going to take this slander. Alright, get in here, Nocton. Let's get to watch this. Because I'll, I'll tell you what, I don't get to watch Young Link Duck Hunt a lot. In fact, Nocton doesn't get to be on stream a lot. So, this is exciting. I'm happy for him. Let's strike. Yeah, yeah, you sound thrilled. What do you mean I sound thrilled? It sounds fun. Duck Hunt Youngling sounds fun. So we got Just Joe King Polion going on, and then Paper Link's J Birdie. Oh, Paper Link's J Birdie going on, not on stream? What is that? What is that madness? And then whoever wins there has to fight Mr. Nichols. <laughs> Remember when I said that Jaberty was going to make a tournament run? And that Corrupt was going to make a tournament run? Like, come on. I know these people. I know what they're able to do. Why are they losing? Why are they losing? It's actually painful. I want to see my friends do well. And while I'm happy for Nocton, he's not Mr. Nichols or Jaybury. I'm sorry, Nocton. You're a homie. But you don't go to round one with me and hang out at a Weeb arcade. That's just how it is. Have I ever read chapter 6 of 1984? I'll tell you what, I've read 1984, but I don't know which chapter that is, because the last time I read it was 8th grade. Three, two, one, go! 
Oh, Duck Hunt. Yeah, no, I see the appeal here in this matchup. Immediately, you can already see the power that uh, Gunman has. I used to call him Mexican, and then uh, someone, some, some people told me that was offensive. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. But now I'm an official representative of the school, so I probably have to do a little better than just calling things Mexican. Anyway, Gunman. Yeah, no, Gunman seems to be doing a really good job of just keeping out the boomerangs and the bombs and the arrows. That's Yeah, that's got armor. That'll mess someone up. Chapter 6. Of, man, are you really going to make me look this up? Fine, I'll look up 1984, Chapter 6. 1984... Chapter 6. Why are you directing me to the chapter where he goes to a prostitute? Directing me to the chat. <laughs> it's a running joke for BGBG. Look, I'm sorry, dude. I've I've been missed like the past two out of three BGBGs uh, since I've been out. <laughs> Why in chapter six? <laughs> Why is Winston going to see a prostitute funny? Okay, Nocton, that was some really good movement off stage. I'm sorry for looking at 1984 while you're playing, but that was really good. Yeah, Krupp's washed. Poor guy, we're gonna have to put him down. Wow, okay, I can't believe the can caught that. And now Nocton just has to play lame and not die. Which he can do. I'll give him that. He can take he can get the percent. Shout out to Ken. Bro. Up smash. Who decided to give Young Link a boomerang? Because I swear to God, like, that thing is more associated with Link than it is Australia nowadays. Why? Who decided to give him that? I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about this because it's better than watching a dog and a child throw projectiles at each other. Look at that, the can just sits there and takes it. Oh, that hit him? Was it a shield book or did he drop? Ah, that caught him. Caught him by the tippy toes. <laughs> the gunman just has to keep taking it. One of my least favorite things about Duck Hunt, uh, I like can as an idea, but I hate can in function because it messes with the camera. It's really hard to just deal with fighting the Duck Hunt when suddenly he becomes way smaller than, you know, the rest of the screen. But I stay big. He gets to be small and I get to stay big. It's rough. J Birdie Paper Links is ongoing. Just Joe. King Polyon is going. Excellent. And exciting news I actually got my first uh, dose of the Moderna vaccine today. Got it right here in this left arm. Still got a band aid on it. But I donate blood a lot, so I'm, I'm pretty good with needles. It wasn't bad. Walked in. 30 minutes later, I was out. Got home and played some stars. And now I'm here.
Yeah, Green County is uh, Three, super lenient about it. Two, one, go. Today was like the first day that they're doing 18 plus. Who took game one? It was Pex. Today was the first day that they were doing 18 plus, so I just registered for it a couple days ago and got it today. We're not waiting until uh, April 1st or, or whatever that deadline is. They're just going straight forward because they're like, dude, we have the supply. What can? What are you doing? So I know Town and City is a really good duck hunt stage. I used to play with a duck hunt a lot uh, before he kind of got burnt out of the game. Um, it's a good stage for him. All the crazy platform movement uh, actually helps with the can and with all your projectiles. It's super neat. Duck Hunt is also really good on Kalos. Mm. Well, for sure he didn't pick Kalos because Young Link is also stupid good on Kalos. I've always liked Duck Hunt's tilts because you can tell that they were designed to hit the can more than they were to hit their opponent. The duck beak um, and the flaps, they look like they're designed to hit the can more than they're actually designed to hit the opponent. Which uh, I just really like. I like how they look. So of course this game is pretty close, it's just two people throwing things at each other and uh, whoever hits the other person gets a follow up off of it. This is neutral. Duck Hunt smashes are also really well animated. I really like the duck, I mean the dog flinching around the smash decks. If you get to see it as much as I do, they just look really nice. Whew! That was a pretty parry. I like that. And of course, since his smash attack is technically three projectiles, it just clings with whatever projectile that uh, picks throws at him. Please don't die. Thank you. Classic Young Link down tilt spa dodge. Never gets old. Man, Noctin doesn't even have to play for follow ups anymore. He can just stay away and get hit. Gunman hitting the frisbee is something that I've uh, just I've started taking notice of. Well, not started. It's something I always did. As I said, I've, I used to play against the duck a lot. Got the frame one can gets you out of any and all combos. If your opponent starts hitting you, just spam the B button. Oh my god, why does that keep working? Hicks just keeps jumping into it. Duck Hunt just feels like a really interesting but balanced character. He's definitely not broken. It dies, get old. It gets so old so fast. So, oh, I like it. Duck Hunt is probably one of the more interesting zoners that I like watching. Just because I have a lot of knowledge of him. And when I see him do cool things that other people wouldn't notice, I like popping off over it. Duck Hunt's just a cool character.
Not true, no, I'll take that back. He's lame. He's a lame character. But I like him. We're going back to PS2, baby. Just a lot of nuance to Duck Hunt play. He's a very complex character. Probably one of the biggest reasons why my friend got burnt out so bad. He just really wanted to play Duck Hunt. Realized, damn, this character is super complicated and I don't want to put in the time to do that. Which is fine, of course. You know, different people have different things going on in their life. But the little that he did learn was pretty cool. Gunman. He got F smashed, really? Wow. Back to throwing things at each other, except Nocton doesn't have to go for follow ups and can just throw things without fear of getting hit. Pix jumps a lot. Like, I don't know if that's just a young link thing, but last, I think it was last game on town, he hit, uh, he kept hitting the frisbee upwards and then jumping into it where it was above Nocton's shield. So I don't know if that's just a young link thing, jumping above someone's shield and trying to catch them jumping out of shield. Um, but Pix does it a lot, and I'm not sure if it's uh, intentional or not. If it's just a habit. He's got a bomb. A tippered? Really? Yeah, I know exactly why he's doing it. I just don't know whether it's on purpose or not, because he does it a lot, and he keeps getting punished for it. Weezer Cakes, what are you doing, Snorty Mama? Snorty Mama, stepping on everything. Yay, she's stepping on my cords. Being a freak. What are you doing? Get out of my face. It's not dinner time. You have like 30 more minutes. Calm down. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look, I I didn't get to commentate on that down air attempt, but I really appreciate it. I was getting my dog out of my face. But like that was that, that was that was cool. Look at that trap he just gets to set up. That's a whole that's a lot of options he covered. Shoutouts to Bomb. <laughs> Nocta just refusing to die. Job, Nocton. Maybe, maybe, maybe beating paper wasn't a fluke. You're high key killing it tonight. Both you and Pix are killing it tonight. You and Pix are both doing dummy well. It's not even funny.
This is winner's finals, isn't it? Yeah, this is winner's finals. Cool. Just Joe 2 0. I need to update that. Just Joe beat King Holion. Excellent. Nipple hitbox kind of busted. <laughs> uh, looks like Falcon one two one maybe. I don't know. They're talking about it. Duck hunt Wario. Excellent. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> like, nah, dude. If you want to stay over there, that's fine. Duck Hunt is over here sent his stuff up. He does not care if Wario's on the other side of the stage. Man, he's got some aerial mobility. Look at him weave. And Bob. Hey, nah, bro, I'll run away. Okay. That was a lot of explosions very quickly. <laughs> Knocked him very patient. Gustmeister just seems to be kind of moving and grooving. But Nocton, Nocton's doing things. He's setting up those projectiles. And he's going high. He's nearing. Nice. Good job coming down on the can. Definitely got the Wario off him. Wario Becker? Still pretty busted. Like, I know Wario is, you know, we've all decided that he's in mid tier now for some reason. But I still think he's nutty. That back air is, is a special. Up air, all of his areas are kind of dumb. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Every single one of his aerials are busted. I'd argue he's still high, high tier, if not low, top tier. Like, for real, if you're telling me that this character is similar to Falcon, Fox, Bowser, or Cloud? I think he's better than all of them by a wide margin. Yeah, he doesn't get a free, uh... Man, it, I, cannot, I cannot believe that it was about this time last year that we watched Gluttony uh, just take an entire bracket by making sure that his opponents were only allowed to have two stocks at any one time. And we all thought he was, like, top three. That was a year ago. That's crazy. I remember seeing the highlights at Class Change. It was in February, right before everything shut down. Good God.
crazy to think that a year ago we thought Wario was top three and then online hit. And we just kind of had, we kind of forgot about that. I feel like we just kind of forgot that Wario was supposed to be top three. And then he got nerfed and we're like, oh right, he was supposed to be good and now he's not good anymore. I really like how Nocta was covering the air there. That was just some really good space challenging. Woo! Okay, all right, baller play. Run the road kill. It's funny. Up air, high key, a really good move for Duck Hunt. Like, I know it's kind of pointless for me to say that. Oh my god. Good, good air dodge, really good air dodge. Did he dimmer that back air? Looks like it. He got the slap, slap, slap. Slap, slap, slap. Duck Hunt just refusing to die. Alright, never mind. Hey, Paper, I see you're in chat. Who won? Between uh, you and Homeboy. Oh, we farted on him! Two one over Jay Birdie, excellent. Uh, let me go ahead and update that since it wasn't in uh, tournament scores. Ooh, let's hold on because I want to put Paper Links Ganon on stream. So you guys, yeah, Paper, Mr. Nichols, you guys just hold on. You wait until after this best of five set because I really want to put you guys on stream and we have the time for it. Get him! Get him! No! Get him! Yeah! Game one goes to Nocton. That's what I'm talking about. Weezer cake. Why are you breathing like a maniac? Who's got the heavy breathing? It's you! It's you! It's you! Yay, she's drinking water because she doesn't have food. See so ya. Yeah, I guess Pix and Just Joe will go. Oh, Pix and Just Joe are already playing. Awesome. Cool. Gus Meister and Nocton will finish up in this best of five set. Stick with Mario. And then, and then when this is over, we'll go ahead and put Mr. Nichols' paper links on stream because I refuse to miss that. One, go! Yeah, shout out to Frame One Cam. Dog, it is not dinner time. Good jump out of that uh, can there. Make sure he didn't get hit. I think it put him in the. Oh, no, what? That grabbed him? Did he fall into it? Yeah, frisbee combos. Let's go to the up air. I love seeing it. I love seeing frisbee combos.
Yeah, you stay over there. That's where it's falling into it. Yeah, when we get Paper Mr. Nichols on stream, I want to see, like, at least three clips from Chad. At least three. Because that's going to be a good match to watch. And bet your biscuits. Wow, that was a lot of just Wario Nair pressure and Duck Hunt not getting hit by it. Maybe Wario isn't good. Okay, that was a cool drag down up air, but I don't think that that's what Nocta was going for because he wasn't ready for it. Oh, I was gonna show my arm, my bandaged arm, but nah, she's off talking to my dad. No way. Nocta just held in and got hit by it. That's brutal. Why does soft hit of Wario would Nair send that way? That's so silly. This music's cool at least though. It sounds like something out of King of Fighters. That wow, that hit? He didn't fall out of it? No way. He was so far away. Just Joe is typing, so let's see what happened there. Just Joe. You've been really popping off tonight, and I'm sorry that I haven't put you on stream once. I really want to, though. Because you're high-key kicking butt. Oh yeah, this is an even game. You can't convince me that it's not. Yeah, get him attack. Let's go. What?! Really good can play there with Zerials. Man, that command grab is making good work of Nocton. Oh god. He lives? I think he tried to spike him and the can got in the way. Because that was absolutely a re grab. Just Joe 2 0. -oh, wow. Pix washed. Everyone in chat tell Pix that he's washed. Good god. Just Joe's killing it though. Exciting to see him in loser semifinals. That's really cool. Is he dead? Immaculate DI. Yeah. He went high and got covered for it. Good job, Gustmeister. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, Wario has five fingers? Really? I could have sworn he only had four. And now he's vibrating violently. <laughs> Picks your queen. <laughs> I guess that's one way of doing it. Picks your squeaky clean. He's so washed, he's squeaky clean. Nocton says Battlefield. Triplats are really good for Duck Hunt. He gets so much more space to play around with uh, the can and the frisbee. Just extra platforms means more surface area, means more traps for Duck Hunt to lay. Which is why high key, his worst stage is at. Like, that's not even cap. He does really well on Town and City. He does really well on Kalos. He does really well on Battlefield and Yoshi's. It's that surface area. He does okay on Smashville. It's not great. But yeah, Battlefield is really good. Arguably even better than Small Battlefield. Not even arguably, it just is. Oh, he hit him with a slap. Slap, slap, slap.
Yeah, we have a whole like hour and a half. We got so much time. We've been absolutely blazing through bracket today. Sometimes I think that Wario isn't good, and then he hits three true up airs in a row, and I'm like, mm, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Maybe he is pretty good. Landing up air? Kind of busted. I really like that trap of uh, Gunman making you need to shield and then just grabbing you. Because if Duck Hunt grabs you and the Gunman still hasn't shot, you still get hit by the Gunman. And the thing about Gunman is the ones that go faster are the ones that don't hit as hard. And the ones that take a while to shoot are the ones that hit the hardest. So if he's able to grab you and then the slow one hits you, you're basically dead. But if he grabs you and one of the faster ones just hits your shield, well, that just puts you in shield stun and you have, you know, just more time to get grabbed. Beautiful! Beautiful ledge pressure. Nocton seeming to trade a little bit. Now's not a good time to be trading though, but I don't think he can help it much. Look at that, he just gets to cover so much area. With gunman, frisbee, the platforms being an extra floor, everything. Bruh, 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 what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? What happened? Why are you so dumb? At least Fox is honest. Wario actively lies to you. He takes your money and says it's going to charity. He just pockets it. Straight lies. Oh, Nocton says FD this time. Alright. Surprise, he's not going to... Oh, Gustmeister banned PS2. Gotcha. Yeah, no town PS2 at Kalos. Gustmeister knows just as well as I do that those are three really good stages for Duck Hunt. But, I guess uh, Battlefield didn't cut it, so he's going to give uh, FD a shot. Mario music is so fun to listen to, but it's absolutely horrible for fights. Like, I want to listen to some... Oh my god. Grand, epic. You know, like, Mario Galaxy music is really good for fights, but just straight up new Super Mario Bros. When you can hear the Koopas going... It's just... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it could be worse. You could be listening to Ring and Ding. We could always be in a worse situation. Ooh, up smash out of shield. Shoutouts to the Koopas. For real, like my favorite character of any Mario game ever might just be Koopa the Quick. I know we literally see him twice. I really like that. I really like that spike to the can to try and two frame him. It's very similar to what uh, Pac-Man does with the Hydrant, except it takes so much more skill. Anyways, yeah, Koopa the Quick slaps. Oh, good air dodge through the fart. 
Hit him. Yeah, combos, baby. That's what I'm talking about. See, Duck Hunt combos are so much cooler than Mario combos. Because they're not true. Honestly, if you have cool combos, if you have true combos, you're just a lame character. Only cool characters have untrue combos. Dash attack. Oh, that was really good, yeah, but he didn't make it. I I don't like how Gusmeister just did that twice. He did fair and went for a grab, but it clanked with Nox and grab the first time. And then he did it a second time, but it worked. I don't like that. I don't like that he gets to do that. Mario's got a really good air dodge. Oh, oh, what's on Discord? Boomst, be pinging me. What's going on? Where am I looking? I'm looking at BGBG. BG. Any profile picture, anything you want me to plug, your favorite color that your favorite color that isn't purple. Ah. Okay. Let me grab my Twitter profile picture. I really like my Twitter profile picture. It'll guard with a gun just just hits right. Who won? I wasn't looking. Wario! Uh, GG's, Gusmeister. What happened there? So, Duck Hunt took game one, and then Gusmeister just adapted, I guess. It's the same thing he did versus Mr. Uh, Nichols, where he absolutely would have lost game one if Mr. Nichols didn't, you know, SD three times. Ooh, speaking of Mr. Nichols, let's put him and Paper in chat. Let's go. Yeah, no good job, Gusmeister. You're killing it, dude. Honest, everyone's playing really well except for my top seeds. Everyone in everyone in the tournament is just playing incredibly well, except for the people who I thought would play incredibly well. Paper Mr. Nichols. This is the hypest match of the tournament. I can't lie. Paper. Paper versus Mr. Nichols. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why am I waiting? Let's go.
Let's go. Let's go. Lord Keeper's in you. There's literally no hyper song in the game. Or hyper or hype hype? I don't know. I love this song. God, look at him go! I love it. Like uh, Yes! 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 I love it. Look, paper, I know I'm rooting for you to get absolutely dunked on. But your character's cool too. And Ganondorf just lets you, you know, hit dumb things on him. He's not a good character. But Mr. Nichols is also sick. God, upper covers that entire platform. I love Ganondorf. Come on. I love Ganondorf. Hit him with a near one. Near one. The uppercut. Uppercut. Take it. Oh, he didn't take it. Up air. Up air. Nair. Come on, get him. Get him. No! He lives. All right, he lives. He lives. Let's go. Let's go. Wave land. He's stealing his air dodge. Ooh. 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 Dash down. He jumped. He dirted his double jump. Oh, he didn't get dashed deck. He gets grabbed. He lives. He lives. He's nowhere near the kill percent. Not at not at this percent. Oh wow, that was a really good ledge jump. He gets Sparta kicked. I think he lives though. Oh, that was a really good backwards up air. That would have absolutely gimped him. Beautiful. <gasps> he jumped over it. All right, 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 all right. Jab one. He did there one. He did there one. Yeah, fountain kick. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> He weaved, he weaved right in between those up airs and just killed him off of the floor. Look at that falling up air, it's so good. Mr. Nichols is so good, it's not even funny. Dash tag, uppercut, no. And that knee would've been hype, but it wasn't. God, you need to not get hit by that. That is, Mr. Nichols is just so good at hitting that down smash. That's probably the smash attack that he hits the most. It's kind of dumb. Don't die. Nair 2 isn't going to do as much damage with that Nair 1. Get, the, get in, get in, get in. Oh, he didn't armor through it. That was just a dash deck. Yes! Oh, he got him hit with, with a butt hitbox. Sent him way out. Didn't even spike him. Hit him with his butt. Horrible DI from paper, but he lives. Ooh, yeah! Yeah, I got the roll! Adam's pipe bomb is going off. Emirates says no Kalos, no Yoshi's, no town. Honestly, that's no, that's that's a really good selection. Paper Lake says, hmm, what if we went back? I agree. Let's go back. I like PS2. What if we did? Ready? That would be sick. He went Fox! It's the Paper Fox! He's got a gun. No girls. Girls gotta die. Two, one, go. Wake up with no uwu. He's short hopping. Look at him go. He's short hopping. <laughs> Laser camp him. It'd be so hype. Yeah. Ooh. Fox is a character that I just remembered why Fox is a character that gets clipped incredibly easy. Because when he's not moving, he's standing still. Which is perfect for Ganondorf. 
up throw. I'm just in awe. This fox is even hyper than the falcon. Fox is a cool character. Fox is a cool character. Falcon is not. Get him! Yeah, oh, that was such a good tech. Incredible tech. Waveland. He goes low. He sells his jump. Makes it back. Magnet hands. He's not afraid. He's not afraid of the aerials. He's short hopping. He grabs him. He's not afraid. <gasps> oh, I don't know how that grab didn't come out, but he got dash attack for it. Oh my god. He's playing so patient. He's not afraid. He's got two stocks to work with. He does not care. Get him. Get him. Get him. Hit him with something cool! Laser cam! Jab! Ganondorf's jab is so good. I love Ganondorf's jab. Up air! <gasps> he parried it! He parried it. Up top! He grabbed him. F throw. It's not going to kill, but that's like the only kill throw he has. Oh! Oh! Oh man. Oh! Please. Please! Up throw. <gasps> pivot grab. That pivot grab was beautiful. <gasps> Clip him. Clip him. No. Clip him. Come on. Please. I want to see a cool kill screen. Spike him. F throw. F throw. He lives the back throw. You can tell Mr. Nichols is just playing with him. Paper's trying so hard. <laughs> He's not going to get himself clipped if he can help it. Look at him short hop! Look at him short hop! Jab! Joe. <laughs> Paper, that was so good. <laughs> he killed him with jab across the stage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I got too hypey. I got too hypey. Mr. Nichols, he, 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 look at this. Okay, you can't look at this, but he typed out Pokemon Stadium 2. He put the accent over the E in Pokemon and then typed out the word 2.
Alright. We got Just Joe and his sick Falcon. Just Joe's been killing it today. As soon as offline comes back, I want Biggie Cheese. Because I think, yeah, the last time the Biggie Cheese and Mr. Nichols played each other was at the class change in February, which was, oh my god, which was right before COVID. And Mr. Nichols took a game off of him, but Biggie Cheese ended up winning. I cannot wait to pop off in Columbus for Mr. Nichols beating Biggie Cheese. That is literally the one thing I'm living for. Like, there is nothing worth existing for except watching Mr. Nichols beat Biggie Cheese on the big stage in Game Arena. Wow! That was hot! Ooh, landing there. Up here didn't hit me. I guess because he was still on the ground. Good tag. Jab. What are you going to do when Ganondorf jabs your shield? You literally can't do anything. If you drop it, he just hits you. His jab might be one of the safest moves on shield in the game. It's not even funny. Good roll, but even better pivot grab from Mr. Nichols. Hit him with something hot. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. I felt like he should have made it. Mr. Nichols has the exact same bands. No Kalos, no Yoshis, no Town. They're three bad stages for Ganondorf, and uh, they're three good stages for for Falcon. He gets he gets rid of the walls on Kalos. He gets rid of the walls on Yoshis, and Town is just really rough. Yeah, Joe flew too close to the sun. Small battlefield. All right. No PS2. We're not running the back. We're just going small battlefield. Probably my favorite hitbox, like in the game. Just top of the nipple hitbox. Wow! As soon as I saw that one uh, melee video about it, about the nipple spike, well, everything changes. Now Falcon has a nipple hitbox. That was funny. Please don't die. 
Wow. I think that killed him. <laughs> no, I forgot. Captain Falcon has really good aerial recovery. I mean, these up airs from Joe are hot. But up smash catches the up B out of shield. Ooh. Ooh. Why did that hit his shield? He was so far away. Dude, it's... That jab is safe. You can't contest it. Oh, he's dead. It was barely. It was barely, but he was dead. Ooh, really good wave land there. Got him out of that grab. <laughs> And now just Joe literally can't hold shield anymore. Ooh! I don't know how that did hit. I swear to god, Falcon's up smash has more horizontal range than his F smash. That's not it's not a lot. Ooh! He's gone. He's gone. He's just dead. He's gone. Just goes goes up. 1-1. One, one. I'm on Twitter. What's going on? Smashville! That's a really good stage for Ganondorf. I'm glad that uh, Joe didn't ban it. Yeah, he says, no Lilat, no Town, no FD. What am I clicking? And Ganondorf says, Smashville. I think Mr. Nichols would have picked Lilat if he was given the opportunity. But he wasn't given the opportunity, so uh, we're going to we're going to Smashville. music. Ding, ding, ding. Isn't this the theme to Wild World? That was the one on the Wii. It wasn't great, but I liked playing it. Ooh! Also that one, uh, the, the, the song, I forget who it's by. It might be by Triple Q. Uh, wow. That was, that was a call-out post on my Twitter.com. That was a call-out post. Woo! Again, it's so cool. Wow, really? That narrow one was just untrue enough for him to up me out of it. And that side B in range, dang. Up air is absolutely carrying Mr. Nichols. It's carrying just Joe too, don't get me wrong. Up air is really good on both of them. Ooh! All right, buddy, if you just want to stay over there, I'll F smash you. <laughs> That knee was so powerful that it knocked all of the boogers out of my nose and I had to sneeze. Mm. Nair one. Thank you, Paper. That was a powerful knee. It messed me up. What? What was that? What was that? He clipped into the stage. Like, I get that he was recovering the other way, because Ganondorf has magnet hands on the back of his head. What? Because 
because um, just Joe was hanging on the ledge. He didn't have ledge invincibility. So Mr. Nichols squeezed in between just Joe and the stage to kill him. Mr. Nichols takes it. 2-1. And now he gets to go up against Nocton. <clears throat> All right, Nocton, buddy. If anyone has got this, I think it's you. I don't think Gus Meister's got it. I think you're the only person now who stands in between Mr. Nichols and Victory. You got this. All right? If you can hear my voice, there's still hope. You're the only person who can do this. I believe in you. I don't believe in Gus Meister. I believe in you. Do you like Pokemon Stadium 2? He did it again. He put the accent over the E and then typed out the word 2. Like, there's a key right there that has the number 2 on it. Or just say PS2. He, he's putting an accent over the E. I don't get why, but him being so formal and exact about it is funny. Uh -uh. I'll <laughs> get off of my avatar. I was just about to say that Mr. Nichols is an incredibly polite person. Like, if you ever meet him IRL, he's he's very nice. And he just comes into the, into the, into the arena and immediately says to Nocton, Get off of my avatar. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, let's go. Ganondorf.com. Yeah, we have a whole hour left. We've been killing it today. Three, two, Let's go Route one, 10. Go. Route 10 slaps. Route 10 was actually not in uh, Black and White 2. I'm pretty sure it's a Black and White exclusive. Combos. Oh yeah. Nocton absolutely has this. Unless Mr. Nichols hits him with something dumb. I think Nocton absolutely has this. I don't know what he's been drinking, but... Oh, I know what he's been drinking. He's been drinking dumpster beer. I think the scavenging has made his duck better. Ducks are n Wow! Okay. That was quite the exchange. That was just a lot of fear from both sides. Yep, up till... Up air. Up air. Goodbye. Gustmeister 3-1 knocked him. What? Oh. That was, yeah, that was already there. Ooh, up smash. Landed him right on the can and it exploded. That was a really cool set. Wow, he's sharked from all the way over there. Ganondorf Magna Hands? High key, really good. Like, you look at some of the stats for this character, and you just don't get why he's not, like, mid-tier. For real, the only thing that's making him a bottom tier is his size and speed. If either of those were changed, he would be mid or even high tier. His moves are good. They have really good frame data on them. His specials are good. Like, having two command grabs is kind of silly. His only bad special, arguably his only bad move, period, is Warlock Punch. Followed by his down. Good tech. Very good tech. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. 
but then he just, you know, he's slow and big, so you hit him. And very easy to get. Like, he has a good up B. It's really good out of shield. It's pretty good at recovering. But Ganondorf has such bad air speed that if you hit him with anything off stage, he just dies. Those are the only things keeping this character in the bottom tiers. Otherwise, he's nuts. He's nuts! Alright, <laughs> Volcano Kick. Never mind, I forgot about Volcano Kick. Volcano Kick is not good. <laughs> I high key forgot about that one. <laughs> guy guy you're quoting me like you're supposed to say something mocking but that's just true that's just true he's a really good character with like two or three absolutely debilitating weaknesses it's kind of nuts Booms is hitting me on Twitter. It's Toasted Art. Shoutouts to Toasted Art. Incineroar is not good. What are you talking about? Incineroar is booty. His command grab is not isn't even good. His up B isn't even good. Revenge is given. His aerials are okay. I don't know, bro. I said it earlier, but I really like Duck Hunt's tilts, simply because they look like they're better designed to hit the can than they are to hit the opponent. The duck pecking and her little wing flaps. <laughs> they're, they're designed to hit the can and not the person, which I think just makes them look really good. I really like that. That's a really good recovery. I, I know that he still got hit there, but like, that was really good. That was a really good recovery, and Mr. Nichols is a monster. Up smash? Oh, wow! Yeah, no, you whiff a grab there, you get Sparta kicked in the head. Uh-oh. I don't like that. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, that's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so Ganon was at 53. What? Nocton? Hello? Okay, Ganon was at 53 and Nocton was at 0. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. Yeah, it was 0 to 53. I know that. 
do the latter. Give me a sec, I'm just on Discord. Alright, so what, apparently uh, Noctin's internet just went out. I'm not going to sweat it. Um, I gave them the option, hey, you guys can either start over, or we can each have two stocks with Ganon at 53. And Tyler's like, alright, let's do the latter. Noctin hasn't said anything yet, but... Ugh, I'm sure he'll be okay. One more shot. He's back. Ready? Let's go. Alright. So they're each going to SD once. We're going to get Ganon to 53%. And uh, we'll keep this going. Alright. Fifty four, that's fine with me. All right, let's go. That didn't grab me, low profile. Wow, all right. Good, good. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, he just instantly makes all that up. Mr. Nichols is not kidding around. There are no jokes to be had. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Volcano kick. Yeah, Ganondorf get-up attack is really good at getting up against that can. It's just huge. It's messing with the camera, though. I hate it. Imagine can on PS1. Like, for real, with those extra things on the side, you would not be able to see anything going on offstage. With the can. Good tech. Very good tech. Got him around the duck. I mean, the, 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 the gunman. I was calling the Mexican again. He's in grand finals. Yeah, whoa, where'd he go? Where'd he go? What happened? And hey, Noxie, you good? Yeah? Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't know where Ghostmeister's from. I think he's from... Uh... Oh, wow. He did the Pac-Man thing. I think he's from North Ohio. Yeah. He's from North Ohio. Uh, but he plays Wario. Apparently he's pretty good. I may have underseated him. I gave him like fifth. But he took a set off of Mr. Nichols, which is kind of crazy, honestly. Oh yeah, this is absolutely Mr. Nichols' game. Get him. Get him. Vectors. Jab him. Ah! Oh, he got hit by the weak hit. I think that was a Tokyo Drift. He was going to do it if he didn't get hit. He was going to hit if he didn't get hit by the, by the, by the Frisbee. Oh my god. Nocturne, you've got to focus on gimping him. You can't just be setting up traps right now. You have to nair him off stage. That's the only chance you have. Alright.
Oh, this is the best of five. This is the best of five. It's not over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's best of five. We're just running the back. PS2 is just a really good stage. Everyone likes it. Who doesn't like PS2? Honestly, I should just get rid of the stage list and have us all play on PS2 all the time. Pokemon music is cool. The stage is great. Who needs to ban things? Let's just all play on PS2. Let's all be friends. That grab? I guess uh, Duck Hunt dash grab is pretty good. Rolled into it. Oh, we got grabbed there. He makes it. Oh, you look at that. I love that. I love how fast he can do that. Thank God for Ganondorf buffs. Thank God. Rock crocking did not deserve to exist. This character is cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was quite the call out. Throw him into the camp. Oh, he threw him upward. All right. Clang. Like, I can even fight to Pokemon Center music. This is so much better than 1-1 One -One or um, Super Mario World. Look at that. He hit his up smash in the smoke of the explosion. This guy's so smart. And he's dead. I don't think that was true, but he died. <laughs> I don't know why he held it when shield grab could have happened like at any time. But he held it. Shoutouts to frame one can. Wow, Duck Hunt can put out a lot of aerials. You know, sometimes you don't notice it, but every once in a while I watch Duck Hunt do three aerials in one full hop, and I'm like, damn, that character can move. Look at him walking. He's so threatening. Yeah, I think Nocton's best friend in this matchup needs to be grabbing. Mr. Nichols is going to be in shield a lot and if you can make him grab i mean if you can make him shield with gunman or with frisbee or with can that's li literally a free grab you won't kill him very early but he also won't be putting a whole lot of damage on you and then you'll be able to hit him with like a can off stage or a gunman or even a nair or a downer that works too because ganondorf is not that hard to get Making him shield is definitely the play of that. Woo! Call out. Wow, he really did it again. Immaculate DI from Nocton, though. Plus the fact that it was kind of stale. Hashtag, not quite. Almost, almost. Ooh. Get him knocked in. Get him knocked in. Mess him up. You're at 144, but you're Duck Hunt. Get him. I love that. He waited for the dog to be put in the cooldown of summoning a gunman. And then did a down B to approach him. That was really smart. That's that's just all Mr. Nichols does. It's just really smart. And he takes game three. Clean 3-0 here in Losers Finals. And we get the rematch. Gus Meister, Mr. Nichols. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. 
Grand finals. Excellent. Alright, let's ping Ghostmeister. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. 4 and M S2. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9. Grand finals. I don't know what that tag is. Not L Wonk? Not Wonk? Like, what is that? What does that mean? I would very much like to know. I got my stretch out. We got 45 minutes to have a grand finals here. Hopefully we can get two sets done in grand finals because Mr. Nichols is absolutely getting the reset. I think we'll have time to do two best of fives. <laughs> oh, I should probably take the bandit off. It's getting a little... Yeah, speaking of shoulder... Apparently the the shot is pretty high up on your arm. I was expecting it to be uh, lower. Maybe that's just because I donate blood. Oh, that dog is pretty high up. Anyway, it's getting started here. PS2. Who doesn't love PS2? It's such a good stage. Honestly, if you don't like PS2, we're not friends. I, I don't know how to I don't know how to tell you this any other way. <laughs> Wario jumping sounds so funny. Oh my god. Alright, he was. Really? I feel like that should have grabbed. <laughs> what? I'm really mad that the fair didn't cut it there. Both of them are doing a really good job of just standing still. Makes 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 the game pretty intense. Slap slap slap. Man, that's a lot of shield damage for a slap slap slap. Hit him with a clap clap clap. Bye. Coming back here. Get up here. No, PS2 is better than Small Battlefield. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just like the aesthetic of PS2 more than I like the aesthetic of uh, SPF. Even though the music on SPF is better. Either way, like if you're picking me to game one, if we're going to PS2 or Small Battlefield, I'm picking more Keeper Zinnia either way. So like, we're still listening to the same music, it's just PS2 looks cooler. Ah, there's the back air. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit it. PS2 is a better stage. That's why it's the starter in the in this tournament. You know, most people like running SBF as a starter, but nope. I like running uh, PS2 as a starter. I think it's the better stage. Ooh! Really good air dodge. No, the hitbox extension didn't work. Really good in air, though. Kept him off. That Nair, oh, that should have killed. Good DI, though. There we go. Call out the double jump with the fair. That'll absolutely annihilate anyone. Kind of crazy that Wario's a heavy. I like, I like the up airs. Can Wario do anything to you sitting on ledge? Like anything? Down tilt, maybe? I don't know. It just doesn't feel like he can do a lot. Slap! But now he's got no walk. Ooh, missed tag. He's got no walk, so I think this is absolutely a winnable game. 
for, for uh, this turn. Yeah, there's no fart. He's powerless. Doria. I don't know, back air is kind of nutty. I swear to God, Wario moves at 15 frames per second. Yes, let's go! I love when he does that. I love when he does that double jump up B for a call out. He does it against Jay Birdie all the time since Jay Birdie loves going high. You can't go high against Ganondorf. He will mess you up. When was the last time you played against him? I don't know. It was, it was like a couple weeks ago. I feel like it was maybe two weeks ago. Maybe three. But he definitely did it to you, and I definitely popped off over it. I know for a fact that I did. Trying to play around this Wario pressure as best he can. Ganondorf is okay with taking a little bit of damage. You're literally just making him stronger. Rage Ganondorf is not funny. It is nothing to be snorted at. Or sneezed at, or whatever the term is. Yeah, no, he saved his jump. He saved his jump. He knows. Oh, now he does have a jump. He saved his jump, though. You haven't played him in months? Really? You played him at a right state rate. I know for a fact you did. It was online. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, look at Wario. He, he moves like game mode. Like he's just missing frames. He moved. Ooh! But he moves like the $19 Fortnite. Really? He moves like the $19 Fortnite card guy. Ooh! You know, it's really hard. Like, as much as I love Mr. Nichols, it's kind of hard for... That was a really good down smash. It's really hard for me to make jokes about Wario moving like the $19 Fortnite card guy. You know, because he's missing frames. When, when he just gets down here at 30. Like, you would think that... The, okay, two seconds ago, you would have thought it was an even game. They're 50-50? No. In that situation, Ganon is winning. If you are not a stock up, you are losing. Look at him jump. He's too afraid of commitment. Yeah, he's too afraid of commitment. Yeah. Get his ass.
Running it back to PS2. It's a good stage. It's a good stage. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of. Ooh! <laughs> I saw it coming, but I was talking. And then he did it and I popped off. He's dead again! That was. Okay, he teched. He still had his bike, which gave him an extra jump. And then teched the, the Ganon. And then died. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude. Tyler's so good. I love that he went for that. I love that he went for that. He's got two stocks to work with. Of course he'd go for that. What Ganondorf main doesn't want to end the game in less than a minute? I love Tyler. He's so good. Literally my favorite player. Like of all time. Sure, I like Leon. I like Lunic. <laughs> but Tyler's my favorite. Oh, I love this guy. I love this guy. That's a grand finals reset. You can beat Tyler once. He will never, ever let you beat him again. We're looking at a reset here. Good God! Can I clip like that entire three match? I want all three of those matches to just go on Twitter. Those are great. We're running the bag? I don't know. They're talking about something. I'm on Twitter. Alright, what's going on? Jeez, yeah, Gustmeister just hits him with the G's. Alright, we're running it back to PS2. You don't like my cloud up me for the 50th time? Jeez is the only appropriate reaction. It's true. No, that was, that's a really good reaction. I really like that. So, one of the things I very much like about Mr. Nichols and how he does his side beast is he always does a little short hop cancel into those side B's because it takes like one extra input and aerial side B is objectively better than normal side B because one there's one reason and one reason only your opponent can't tech it which means they have three options out of aerial side B and that's Sorry, four options. They have four options. Neutral get up, get up attack, roll away, and roll in. They don't get to tech. Like on a normal grounded, um, like that, he has more options. Oh, wow, he died. You have miss tech, which leads into several more options. They have, let's see, you have tech away, you have tech in, you have tech in place. And then, you have Miss Tech, get up, Miss Tech, get up attack, Miss Tech, roll away, Miss Tech, roll in. So that's an extra three inputs. Oh, wow. That's an extra three options that Mr. Nichols takes away from his opponent simply by pressing the L button and jumping right before he does side B. Literally just putting in one extra input, and he takes away three options from his opponent. It's really cool. It's literally just optimal. I love it. 
Yes, it also has slightly greater vertical range. So you don't just take away the options from your opponent. You literally cover more of where they're standing. That edge cancel was beautiful, and I love to see it. Aerial Flame Choke is literally just better. Literally just better. Anyway, I didn't pop off over it, but I really like how uh, Gustmeister did a down air straight up into up B. It looked like it covered a pretty decent amount of stuff. It was a neat mix-up at the very least. Wow, he uppercutted him that far away. He did it! He did it! Good tech. Absolutely gorgeous tech. Ah, uh, but the bike knock made the down smash knock him too far away since the... Uh, hit, 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 what's it called? Hitbox extension, hitbox extension. His second hit of down smash didn't come out fast enough, so it's good. Dude, dude, don't go off stage or Ganondorf. You're making a huge mistake. The only mistake I ever made was delicious. He lives. How do you kill him? How do you kill him? Why are you going off stage? Why are you going off stage? Uh, Tyler tried nearing him off the bike a couple times, and he hit it like once. The rest of the time, he got hit. It just hasn't worked out super well. Bro, I get it. I get it. I get that you can't kill Ganondorf until 200%. But trust me, dude. That's so much better than going off stage and just dying like that. You want to just keep going PS2? Sure. Okay, I, I, okay, all right, well, I'm sorry. I looked away because Professor Sky Guy texted me, and then I, I looked forward and just watched the Wario get F-smashed. He's got a bike. Uppercut. Clap. That was a neat F-smash. Look at that! Look at that! I'm so sad that that wasn't true. If he was like 20% lower, he would have died. I like Mr. Nichols just holding shield there. There's a lot of pressure and he's just kind of lived with it, which is good. A beam, a beam. Ah. Uh. Gustmaster's just desperately trying to figure out how to approach Ganondorf. He has no clue.
I love it. I love it. I, you love to see it. Tyler's so good. Good kick. Ooh. This is looking a bit more even. Good call out with the neutral be there. Oh, I don't know why he farted. That was just waste of a waft. Does he recover? Yes, he does. Wow. Luckily, he still has his bike. Oh, wow. I... Wow. Mr. Nichols is kind of putting the moves on him. That's 50%. That's 71%. He edge canceled. Oh my god. He just doesn't stop. This guy's insane. He's in kill mode. <laughs> His opponent is in orange percent. He wants to kill them. Alright, he's able to do a couple combos. Nice waft. That did 70 74% in one combo, but you know. He's been in kill percent for about 40% now. Ooh. Yeah! He just died off the top. Poor guy. He did it. I love when he does that aerial side B, even if it whips. <laughs> it's like, no, he was ready to swat that bike out of the air if it came towards him. Come on, mess him up. Stream started to chop up. Oh, well, that's not good. That's all right. We have like one game left, three maximum, and I don't think we're getting that those three games. We're just about to see a beautiful 6-0 reset. Don't mess with Mr. Nichols. Why did it suddenly focus on the bike? Why did the camera suddenly leave to go focus on the bike? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that. That, yeah, GG's. Mr. Nichols with a clean 6-0. That's just brutal in a way. Told you I was Mr. Nichols' this week. It's always Mr. Nichols' this week. GG's to the both of you, though, Gusmeister. That was really cool to watch. I don't get to watch a lot of Wario's, so uh, seeing what you do is pretty awesome. Shoutouts to Nocton and Pix, who are both just absolutely killing it today. You both were slaying. Corrupt is washed, but you both did awesome. I'm proud of you guys. Just Joe was doing great. Honestly, everyone not named Paperlinks, Jaybirdie, did really well. And I'm very happy for that. I like seeing Just Joe do well. I like seeing Nocton do well. Nocton especially. I like seeing Pex do well. That was cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and host Sky Guy so that we can get BGBG set up. I'm gonna be part of commentary tonight, which would be pretty fun. Um, but thanks a lot for coming out, guys. I'll go ahead and uh, send it on over to him. I'll see you in about 25 minutes. And if I don't see you in about 25 minutes, well, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for showing up. It's always fun. This week is, was especially fun.
This week was very fun. I like this week. All right. Maybe if Twitch will connect for me here, I'll be able to do it. Do 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 do